All right, are you Australian? I certainly am. And can you give me any words or phrases that are typically Australian? The slang. Bogan. Bogan. Okay, and you have to explain it because people are watching this that don't know. Um, so a bogan is like a person who, well, I don't know, basically around here you can probably see a lot of bogans. Um, they do tend to hang around Cavill Avenue. Um, they're kind of someone who drinks a lot of beer, uh, doesn't really care about what they look like, um, what they do with their life. Um, just, I don't know. There are lots of nice bogans though. And then there are lots of really mean bogans. But can you call um, a bogan a bogan or is that gonna get you in trouble? No, that can get you in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of crosses a lot of lines. Well, we have an obsession with shortening things. So I suppose like scar on what's going on. Um, can you say that again? Scar non. Scar non. Scar non. on, yeah. on, mate. Scar on. What yeah. about you? Uh, well, we've also got a word for what people would say uh, sweatpants. We call them tracky dacks. Yeah, tracky dacks. Yeah, tracky dacks. Yeah. That's for sure. Uh, petrol station is servo. Um, Liquor land is bottle o. Bottle o, bottle o. There's a lot of o's in things. Swimmers. We say cozies. Cozy. Oh, do we? Yeah. I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, there's a big line in primary school. <laughs> so if you're wanting to tell someone no, you would say yeah, nah. Or if you're wanting to say yes, you'd say nah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, nah means no. Nah, yeah, yeah nah means, means yes. no. Yeah, wait, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the servo is the service station. There's and, no um, Yui for yeah. a U-turn. Uh, the bottle o is the bottle shop. I got one, I got one. Oh, you go. <laughs> Um, you got, instead of saying afternoon, you say Arvo, that's what you do in Australia. Yeah? That's a good one. To say Christmas, you say Chrissy. To say present, you say Prezi. So Christmas present would be Chrissy Prezi. First up, Knackers. Good old classic, that's McDonald's. You got anything good? It's weird, but when I first came here, I didn't know what an Umbo was. It's an ambulance. Um, Muzzed, which is like my favourite word, and it just means messed up. Cheeky Barbie. That's like a barbecue. Um, yeah, uh, like in the afternoon, it's called an Arvo. So we're going for Arvo drinks tonight. Um, having a bevy, like a beverage. Grog, isn't that like? Grog. <laughs> That's an that old like, one. That's an that old like one. Liquor? Yeah. Can you explain it? Yeah. Liquor? Yeah. 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 S smoko, isn't that like a break? Yeah, yeah. like, like yeah, break. <laughs> Drongo is an oh. old slang term for idiot. Yeah. Here's a popular one. Instead of saying cigarette, it's dozer. I was just thinking that. Uh, Taking a dozer. VB, Victorian bitter, or a Bogue's draft. Can you explain, what is that? People don't it's know uh, what it is. best beer on earth. A thing that Aussies do is we are like grammatically incorrect. We never say, how are you going? We say, how are you doing? Is that like wrong? How are you doing? How you going? How you going? How's it going? Another thing that's wrong is shrimp on the barbie. We don't call them yeah. shrimp, we call them prawns. Yeah, hold up. And you don't cook them on a barbie, you boil them. Yeah, hold up. Yeah, we don't do shrimp on the barbie. We do, we do barbies, but we don't do shrimp. Something I learned coming to the Gold Coast was um, that everyone ends their sentences with but. So, you, like, you know, when instead of saying though, you say but. So, you, like, it's good but. Or but then you don't follow it with anything you else. don't follow it's it with just, anything okay. else. Yeah, it's just but. No problems, no worries. Apparently that's very Australian. I have an American friend. No worries is not said anywhere else. No wasers. No worries. Yeah. I mean, we shorten names to everything because we can't just say the whole thing. Like uh, Baza, Shazza, like Barry and Sharon, yeah. Uh, my name is Lauren, in case you were wondering. So Lauren Loza, chucking the za on everything. What else? Well, I'm just going home to chuck a shrimp on the barbie, actually, now that you ask. Yeah, but we don't actually do that. That's don't we? A I've never prawn. heard anyone Maybe say that. Maybe a big shrimp. Yeah, we a call prawn. it prawn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you lying to me now? Are you actually Australian? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I've got um, some shrimp in my bag. So like, get on the piss, or get on the alcohol, so get smashed, basically, get drunk, and then after the bottle, I, you know, go to the bolo, get your piss, and get drunk. Drive home, get smashed. Don't do that, but even though you explained it, I think half the people aren't going to understand. Yeah, it. fair. Can you enough. do it slower? All right, yeah. So, get on the piss, like. Get on the alcohol, get smashed, get drunk. Um, yeah, so, yeah, that's really what it is. So, you guys are from Germany. Yeah. Yes. Have you heard any Australian slang since you arrived? Um, for sure, but... Or any that you didn't understand that I could yeah, explain? Yeah, but don't remember. I can't really, I, we just know, like, good day and mate and stuff. Yeah. And so, I think... Yeah. I know the other words. Like, Alright, let me teach you one. Yes. Arvo. Please. Do you know what that means? Again? Arvo. No. A-R-V-O. A, 
R V O. V O. It means afternoon. Oh, Arvo. Yeah, so this Arvo is this afternoon. Oh, okay, yeah. It's very popular in Australia. Yeah, I don't know. I've never heard about that. Well, that's yours. You use it. Use yeah. it now when, it, when you go out. So, yeah, I went to the Pacific Fair this Arvo. Um, it was good. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and then just chuck mate on the end. Mate. Hey, mate, I was at the Pacific Fair this Arvo. Um, it was really nice. Are you Australian? Oh, maybe. <laughs>